Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi. Welcome back to the show that James thinks is awkward. Yes, welcome to the awkward show. As I told him, I don't think it's awkward. But I do. Yeah, he's moving his eyes, and I'm not even really doing that. I'm just staring. We're staring each other in the face right now. Yeah, I lost the blinking contest, so. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why, why do you think this session's awkward? Let's talk about it on the show. <laughs> Welcome to Dr. <laughs> Phil, everybody. Why is this awkward for you, James? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just been two weeks since we've done this, so... At least... You, you know it's weird, because... I don't feel any awkwardness. Dude, we've talked about this in the past before, like how sometimes we'll record an episode, and we'll feel like, oh, I don't know if that was that good, or I don't know if it was that funny, but then when we actually watch it, it's like, you know what, nope, that, that was good. Yep. I liked it. it it's because... When you're the performer, when you're the one on stage, yeah. you're not in the audience's, uh, you know, you're not in their shoes. Yeah. You're not the one, they have a completely you're different view. You're not in the view. audience's condom. Yeah, exactly. So, because of that, like, we view the show differently as we're doing it. Mail us your condoms at 699.dog. <laughs> Fuck. Um. We'll wear them. Fuck. Come on. Uh, Why is this so hard? Great. Okay. Cool. Well, <sighs> yeah, I, I can't say that I feel very awkward at all. I, I, I don't know. I guess it, it, it probably just doesn't bother you as much, especially when you're the one staring at me, right like you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have good peripheral view. Yeah, I, yeah. I can tell when Ellie's just staring at me. And trying, Fuck me. God, why is this part so hard? I'm eye-tarded. Sure. Um, My eyes are tarded. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, oh. yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Okay. It uh, doesn't bother me, I guess. I have an idea. Let's change the subject. <laughs> why is a raven like a riding death? Why? I don't fucking know. Why, why are you asking me? That's from Alice in Wonderland, by the way. Oh, you do? Yeah. Have you read that book? No, you... I watched the movie. Oh, you've seen the animated one? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. From a while ago. I watched a lot. We had it on VHS, my dude. No, yeah, I, I never had that on VHS, so I never got to see it until... Video hallucinogenic uh, shit. <laughs> VHS. Um, oh, Let's dude. go back to Jolly Roger's asshole and yeah, might as well. comb that shit. I'm glad that I went ahead and got all the caps now, because that way... Um, yeah, fast track. That way we don't have to just go back and do an entire episode of us, you know, just going through every level again. Vroom, vroom, boom, boom. Although I do like... I do like that episode of Banjo Tooie where we had to go back and get all the jiggies we missed, and you had one song for every new level we played. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaking beautiful. That was Banjo Kazooie, wasn't it? No, that was Tooie. Really? We must get the sacred tome when you sing this in its open bones. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> for your diner, or whatever. <laughs> Watch the episode yourself, you lazy fuckers who are watching this video right now. I don't even think I've seen that record really? yet. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's been on YouTube for months now. I dude. know. I you gotta just watch don't think it. I watched that episode. You, you don't. I guess because I'm the one who's actually editing. editing it. I see them all and I know it yeah. all. But you, um, you, you don't really watch them until I come up to you and like, hey, dude, let's watch this on my laptop, or until it airs on YouTube. Yeah, and which, even then, not always. Yeah, dude. Because I lived it. <laughs> yeah, you lived it. Where I, I don't know. I guess. There's something, one thing that's really special about doing a show like this, mm -hmm. where it's just you being complete, legitimate, and open and honest in all your awkwardness and just... <laughs> James's awkwardness? James's I awkwardness. feel a theme here. Mm -hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Get away from my face. <laughs> Two inches from my face. Um, what, what's interesting about doing a show like this where you're just completely... I'm just uh, harder to make feel awkward. It's, it's just... I really like to hear myself because... The, what's cool about you hearing your narcissistic your, fuck? Well, well, we, it's cool because like <laughs> when you're because you're in your own skin. Yeah. You don't know what it's like to be no another one person. No knows what it's like to it, be the Jamesy boy. It's just in, I always imagine like how would I view myself if I were another person and I was having a conversation with me, uh, like, you know, in another person's body, you know? Yeah. I always wonder what that would be like, and this is, like, probably the closest thing you can do yeah. to get that 
yeah. experience, you know? Yeah. So that's why I love to rewatch these episodes. Uh-huh. Even the day after you and I record them, I just love uh-huh. to be like, wow, okay, so that's how I sounded? Huh, oh, okay. Oh, Elliot said this? Oh, I don't fucking care about Elliot. Yeah. Okay, I sounded like this? <laughs> I sounded like this? Huh, okay. Wow, nice. okay, that came off as this way. And then sometimes you'll say something like, dude, that sounded really weird. And in the moment while we're recording, yeah. I'll be like, what? No, it's not. And then I'll actually watch the video later and I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> now that I'm an observer, I actually see why Elliot said that. Okay. I don't know. I'm pretty good at like viewing myself externally, if that really? makes any sense. No, that, that makes perfect sense. As we were talking about earlier in the grocery store, uh, one big difference between you and I is that you're I am, hyper aware. I'm hyper aware of things generally, and you're like sometimes under aware. <laughs> I'm and the exact fucking like, opposite. I don't wear underwear <sighs> or pants. I, I guess the best way to say it is <laughs> micro penis. <laughs> There's nothing to chafe down there, boys and girls. Yeah, baby. It's so tiny, I feel nothing. Except my fat ass, the hot thighs, you just <laughs> smoke a ham. <laughs> 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 Jeez, um, yeah, um, you know, Elliot's super hyper, uh, focused on things. He's very hyper aware of his surroundings and himself and everything, and I tend to struggle more with that, so. That's, like, what we were talking about earlier. We went to, uh, a grocery store before we- Fuck me. Siemens. And, uh, I was saying, like, that's part of Elliot and I's yin and yang kind of relationship as friends and also as co-hosts on this show working yeah. together we have a yin and yang kind of relationship hell and... yeah we do i'm the asshole uh white side he's the nice dark side mm-hmm. <laughs> he's sure. like hi elliot want to see this cool animation i made i'm like james get that fucking lame ass shit out of my house ah oh, mr bite that much i don't want to see that fucking lame ass pony shit <laughs> <laughs> i haven't made i haven't made an animation in a while yeah. It's been a while. I've been so focused on doing voice stuff. Yeah. I haven't been... For those of you who don't know, I'm an animator. I learned how to animate in college. Yeah, baby. Um, I learned how to do math in college. <laughs> seven times seven is 49 for those of you listeners who don't know your times tables. Let's see how good your times tables are. 12 times 9. Um, 108. Yep. 108. Wow. Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm very good at that. That was way faster than me. Keep going, man. Let's let's keep doing this. Seven times eight. Fifty-six. That one fucked my ass when I was a little kid. <laughs> like, yeah, holy dude. shit. Seven times eight. I can never remember it. Six times six. Thirty-six. Six times nine. Uh, fifty-four. Uh, fucking eight times uh two. Sixteen. <laughs> eight times eight. Sixty-four. Haha. <laughs> I'll end it there. Fuck me. God damn it. Yeah, no, no. no. I, do you ever do that? Surprise! Three times twenty-two. Sixty-six. Yeah, do I ever do that? Do, yes. Do you ever just think of, like, number equations, like, math things in your head as you go about your day? Sometimes. Usually, I actually think I heard this on Game Grumps. Aaron was talking about if you need to be able to pee easily, you just start doing, like, math in your head. You mean when you're in a public restroom yeah, and I you're th- at a urinal? And I you think s- he was talking about that. And you're, s- and you're standing, there's other people in yeah. the restroom and it's fucking uncomfortable and awkward and you can't. Nothing pee? comes out your wiener, just nothing at all. Yeah. The story of my life, buddy. I cannot oh. fucking pee around other people. Oh. That usually doesn't bother me very much. Good but for you. I just figured, like, hey, it's a good time to practice some basic math. <laughs> so <laughs> that's usually what I do. I've tried that, dude. I, I or something at least like that. Mm. I, I, I once talked to my counselor about that back in college. Oh. I like I, I had a counselor or. A, psychiatrist for a while who I'd see like once a week and be like, you know, just for mental health reasons. Yeah. And one thing I brought up once was I have such a hard time peeing in public restrooms when other people are in there. I just can't do it. And he's like, well, it's called shy bladder. Like one thing that means you're a fucking loser piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. Get out of my office. And, uh, (laughs) it's time to pee. And then he whipped out his wiener and just started peeing on the desk. And he's like, you can either fucking leave or take the mop and clean it up. And they started jacking off and it was just really uncomfortable. He started, up. he started pissing and jacking off at the same time. And Urine and semen came out yeah, simultaneously. Dude, and I was like, not is, even supposed to be able to happen. Is that fucking possible? And I then, thought. Uh, yeah, he cut a hole in his penis so it was fine. And then, um, and then it was cured. Ever since then, you can just pee in public, and he's like, that'll be $100, please. <laughs> exactly. 
But sir, I'm, I'm actually kind of... I have best of. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going in the best of. Um, so I, I'm actually legitimately curious. Those of you in the comments, those of you watching this video, are you shy in public restrooms? Can you pee or poop in public restrooms when other people oh, are there? Oh, I can take a shit, no problem. I, I can take a poop, but it's it's a little hard for me, but peeing, fucking impossible. Sometimes Cannot do it. Sometimes peeing can be a little weird. It's so hard, man. Ah, uh, I can usually just get over it, though. Like, I'm very How? good at just, like, psyching myself up. and like, alright, I'm just gonna fucking pee. Man, good for you, dude. I just... I, I think it's probably just, uh... I think it's probably because... I wonder if that's just something in our brain because, like, I have a when you're peeing and pooping, it's like you're vulnerable in that yep, moment. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. It's like a caveman. That's why dogs make eye contact when they poop. They feel very vulnerable, so they look to you for security and comfort. Really? Yep. So you specifically, like your own, like the owner? Yeah, usually, like a familiar face. Okay, so if like a stranger came up and the dog was pooping, they'd be like, "Oh, this is fucking awkward." Okay, yeah, I'm probably. gonna look the other way. <laughs> Maybe I don't, I don't know, but that's what I heard. Yeah, because they feel very vulnerable and uncomfortable, so they look to something that's comfortable to them, which is somebody they know. Huh. That's why dogs like to look at you when they're taking a shit. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, let's take shit next time. We're real good. <laughs> <laughs>